Hi and welcome to Pabli Email Marketing. I am Risha Matwani and in this video we'll understand how to add your sender email address with our inbuilt SMTP that is Pabli Send With Us. So let's get started. Currently we are on the delivery server page. You need to go to Pabli Send With Us. Pabli Send With Us is our inbuilt SMTP that is free of charge but there are certain conditions that you need to follow in order to connect with Pabli Send With Us. So we'll check the criteria first. Your sender domain should not be blacklisted. New domains will be given smaller sending limits as compared to website that has good traffic and that are old. You must have an active running website on your domain from using reshum at I must have a running website named pabli.com. My domain should not be directing to some other domain. The content should not belong to casino, cannabis, money related, dating, pills, pharmacy associates, associated high level politics or adult content templates with only images will not be approved so there's a ratio that we follow that is 7 is to 3 70 percent should be text and 30 percent should be images your running website must have traffic to justify that your list of subscribers is obtained once your sender email address gets approved initially you will be given a limit of 500 emails per day afterwards based on your campaign stats your per day sending limit will be increased gradually so once you have gone through these conditions all you need to do is click this box if you agree to these conditions add your sender email address for example my sender email address is okay as you can see I have added my sender email address but I need to verify the details in order to complete the process. Once you have added your sender domain address, it would instruct you to go to your DNS server provider website and fill the CNAME. So for example, I have purchased my domain with GoDaddy. Also, my DNS records are listed with GoDaddy. But there might be a case wherein you have purchased your uh, website from GoDaddy, but your DNS records are with some other web. Before you enter your CNAME details, you need to find out your DNS provider website okay so as I've told you my records are listed on GoDaddy I will go to GoDaddy dashboard page go to my products manage my product the process of all the website is almost the same I will scroll a little and go to manage DNS option as you can see I'm in the I'm in the DNS management page I now I need to add my CNAME records so click on to add choose the type as CNAME as we have already mentioned that we need CNAME1 and CNAME2 and the type is also mentioned here as CNAME. So the type is CNAME. In name, you have to enter the host name. Okay, so I'll enter the host name. Okay, there's one thing that you need to make sure of. There are some websites that automatically inbuild the latter part, that is the domain name. For example, my domain name is Pabli Email Marketing. Live. So there are some companies, some service provider like GoDaddy who enter the domain part by themselves you just have to enter this value in the host name i will mention the same value in the host name in value option i have to enter the full record okay enter this value i'm entering this full value ttl will be default and i'll click on add record it says your dns records has been added successfully we have entered first C name now, but as you can see, there are two C names. Okay, so I'll add another one. Click on to add name, choose C name. Name may only choose the first part in the va value. Make sure make sure you enter the full value. To, ent to enter the full value, as you can see, the full value is 128536. So just double click here, the full text will be selected double click and copy okay so in the value i have entered the value ttl same as earlier default add okay it says successful now coming back to pabli email marketing now click on to validate record but as you can see here it says once you have added the appropriate dns records it's it usually takes two to three hours for verification however sometime it can also take up to 24 to 48 hours for DNS propagate and verify. So I'll click on verify record and check if it's done or not. As you can see, as you can see, it says your CNAME records have been added. Your DNS records have been successfully added. All you need to do is you have to send your email campaigns to us for review purpose. Once we have reviewed the campaign, we have found that your domain is not blacklisted and all the criteria that we have discussed earlier. After verifying all the points thoroughly, we will be approving your sending. 
but initially your sending limit will be set to 500 once we ha you have sent the campaign for 500 we will be checking your stats and approving your limits further thank you so much for watching if you have any doubts regarding any feature of family email marketing just click here on the chat board section write your name your registered email address type your message hit enter and our team will be happy to assist you thank you so much for watching